This is uh, the operations management uh, course at St. Vincent College. We've had the great good fortune of being able to uh, carry on this course at Latrobe Steel. The product that we're working with tonight in the value stream that the students have evaluated is a 40,000 pound ingot, 26 inches uh, square and about 20 feet long. The difficulty is that the lead time through the process is measured in about 30 to 40 days. The company asked us to look at that and look at the value stream, identify the problem areas, and come up with some possible solutions. So what you'll see tonight is the student's presentation of their understanding of this one value stream at Latrobe Steel, and their analysis of uh, the potential waste and what they recommend that we should do to uh, try and resolve that. Well, good evening. Thank you for being here this evening. Um, we are here to present our uh, plan for Latrobe Specialty Steel 26-inch um, square billets. Let me first introduce everyone that's here with us tonight. We have Belinda, Gulid, Matt, I'm Terry, we have, uh, Ting Ting, and Wendy. In addition, once the square billet is returned, there's only one crane here that is able to lift that, that has the capacity that's able to lift that. And finally, um, another thing that we wanted to point out was that this process for this 26-inch square billet is spread out throughout numerous buildings here at Latrobe Specialty Steel. We um, noticed that um, during the process, uh, in the process uh, loop, there are four places where inventory, um, uh, there are more inventories. Um, that is a direct result for, from a push uh, process. And uh, we thought that, um, for example, here at the beginning, the product of production planning it's a huge inventory. It takes 15 days. Um, here, uh, when the ingots get shipped outside, we have 29 days. It takes 29 days. And uh, we, in, we reduced the first inventory waiting time from 15 to 1, and the second from 29 uh, three, three, two, two, two weeks, 14, and third place. Waiting in the inventory waiting time, we reduced it to to nine days. So the first kind burst is a production plan, uh, as you can see on your AFR report. Uh, so we uh, we, uh, we try to in, uh, we can improve the supply chain for just uh, just in time delivery from uh, uh, the truck special uh, steel mail shop. Uh, and the um, procurement and production department should be responsible for it. So we want to reduce lead time by 75%. And going from the current state to the future state, which is not an ideal state, we've already shortened the lead time from 26 weeks to 7 weeks. And what we've done here with these Kaizen bursts are proposed to do. And another global metric for this project would be to increase the value added percent by at least 70% overall. That would be what we would be working to for the ideal state. Uh, again, if we can do that, we would open up a lot more hours for other product in the billet bay. We would reduce the waste, and we would be able to eventually, in the ideal state, create flow, which does not exist right now. So these are the two global metrics. There could be many other metrics under these as we go process by process, area by area, machine by machine. But the global metrics to see that we're on track, we have to reduce that lead time. There are two processes in terms of the cutting. Uh, in the bed bay and the packaging respectively. So we try to combine these two processes and then uh, reduce the step of the the number of step of the whole process and uh, finally reduce the total lead time. One of the big issues that pops up right away is the material handling constraints 
that are present in this value stream. They were mentioned earlier in the presentation. We have crane limitations. We only have one crane and one bay that can handle this billet. It can take the weight of the 26 inch square billet. Now, a recommendation to you would be to spend between ten and twelve thousand dollars to do an engineering feasibility study to see what what capacity crane you can actually put up there and still be safe within your building structurally and for the employees.